welcome to the inaugural WOW Gala. Woo! <laughs> Thank you all for joining us here and coming together to celebrate. This is a party. Who's ready to party? I'm ready. <laughs> My name is Roz Gold on Wode, and I'll be your host and master of ceremonies for the evening. I work at ESPN as a sports broadcaster. Um, I hope we got some sports fans. Okay. I am an angel investor, and I'm a Web3 enthusiast. Yes. <laughs> Ten toes down. And I am a loyal supporter of World of Women from the beginning. In fact, raise your hand if you have a Forever Wow or Forever Wow Galaxy. Me too. Mine is a bomb tuxedo, super cute tux with purple rainbow hair. Oh yes, I'm so excited and it's my forever wow. Now, I see you all, you all out here, you look fabulous, and I wanna first start by thanking you all for being here, for coming out and supporting this. And then I wanna make sure to start with the wow family. So first, to thank the, the World of Women co-founder, Yam Karkai. Yam, where are you? Make some noise for Yam! And then of course, a huge, huge thank you and shout out to the entire World of Women team. Congratulations and thank you for your efforts and hard work to put all of this together. Shout out to the World of Women team. Let's give some love. But first and foremost, and especially, we want to make sure to give a huge shout out to all of the World of Women WOW holders and WOW Galaxy holders. This entire night is for you. So let's start with giving ourselves, give yourselves some love. Let's, let's get rousy. Like, give yourself a hand of applause. This is for you. This is the first ever WOW Gala and the WOW Gala is your gala. It's yours. This is the first, it's huge, it's impactful, it's positive and uplifting. It's a difference maker. It's stylish, it's fun, it's exciting. Look at you guys. I mean, look at this venue. Take around and look at this, guys. This, we're not only in the heart of South Beach, we are on the beach during one of the biggest art festivals of all time here at Art Basel, and we're doing it big together. I want you to look at yourselves. I know Galactic Glamour was kind of the inspo for style here. I have seen such fantastic outfits, the creativity, the, the style, the fashion. Take a moment, everybody look at someone next to you, anybody next to you, and say, and say, damn, you look good. <laughs> Cause you guys look great. And and actually, I want to make sure you guys know, it's not just the over a thousand people that are here with us tonight. Our inaugural WOW Gala is being watched all over the world, abroad, at home, by other WOW holders, fans, and enthusiasts on a virtual live stream made possible by Theta. So for everybody that's watching virtually, and there's thousands of them out there, can we give a wave? You guys are here with us in spirit. We see you, we feel you. You're here with us in spirit. So I just wanna make sure that we're super present for this huge moment in our journey. Okay, when they say, is your Web3 community really a community or is it all based uh, on your love of the floor price? When you look around at what this is happening here tonight of the WOW Gala, you can answer confidently, yes, we are a real community and we're powerful and we're big and we're fabulous. And so let that sink in real, like World of Women is not even two years old yet. It's not even two years old as, as a business, as a project, as a community. And when you think about the impact already made, when you think about the charity work done, when you think about the investments in education and art, when you think about the momentum and the attention gained, the execution of digital to IRL in real life, and most importantly, the establishment 
of a culture of championing representation, inclusivity, representation, you like that one, inclusivity, and equal opportunities for all. That's what we're about, that's the culture. And it's been a year and a half and it's crazy to think about all that's been accomplished here and you know, it's just the beginning. We have a saying we like to say, the time is, the time is, well, guess what? The future is wow as well. All right, guys, I'm going to take you through some really cool announcements. We have an amazing evening in store for you. And I want you to understand that alongside our ceremony here, all along the sides, there's all these cool activations and opportunities to um, try new things. And I want to make sure you know where everything is. So first, we're excited to introduce to you Isna, who is the face of the WOW Gala tonight. Our partner Jazzwares created a one-of-one -one IRL version of Isna's gala dress that we'll be auctioning off to charity. So visit the cabanas to view the dress and to make your auction bid. Okay, also at the cabanas, look for makeup artists in the Night Realm Lounge. So there's gonna be makeup artists who can spice up your look. There's also a massage and sound bath in the spa. The spa starts at 9 p.m. You can get foot massages and back massages and all the things, so go check that out. Custom merch, we got a merchandise section in the Frost Ring Lounge, and then many more surprises. Okay guys, try a preview of Whole Land, the fabricant's new fashion experience with three rare filters from the collection to accessorize our galactic glamour looks. Scan the QR codes in the NFT gallery and then use them via Snapchat. We've got a few more goodies for you because this venue is jam-packed. See new hardware from Ledger in the Cyber Jungle Ledger Lounge. We are so excited to share more with you about this upcoming partnership with Ledger in just a bit. We've got more information. And then shout out to Johnny Walker Blue Label. <laughs> Oh, y'all like to drink, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Walker Blue Label, for being our pouring partner at the gala. They've created signature cocktails inspired by us. Wow, Lord, and they have a dessert and tasting experience. All right, now, before we get into the Wow Awards, I'd, I'd like to pass the microphone to World of Women's COO, Shannon Snow, to share some exciting news for the world of women community. Thank you so much, Roz. Hi, everybody. Thank you for attending our first ever WOW Gala. Thank you. I wanna give a special shout out to the Unrevealed team for being our production partner. They're WOW holders, they're diverse, they're supporting WOW in every way. Thank you so, so much for having us. We love it. So as everyone here knows, WOW's mission is to build an inclusive future with our collection and with our community. But that is not possible without you. And it's why tonight we are celebrating you and what this community stands for with the WOW Awards. This year has brought incredible highlights for WOW. We were able to take our mission mainstream through first of our kind commercial partnerships with some of the biggest players in entertainment, media, and fashion. WOW became the first woman-centric NFT collection to break into the established art world with Yam's landmark sale at Christie's. And importantly, sales of WOW and WOW G allowed us to distribute more than $2 million to charitable causes for women, girls, and climate in partnership with Code Dream in support of the UN SDGs. But what I'm even more excited about is our future. Here's what you can expect from us going forward. This month, in partnership with Ledger, we will be launching an educational game on security called Ledger Quest giving the community access to an exclusive NFT, and 1,250 holders will have the chance to win a free custom ledger. Check out a preview.
I got an early one and I have to say I'm loving it already. We are also thrilled to announce that World of Women Monopoly will be dropping Q1 of 2023. In partnership with Hasbro and WS Game Company, you can expect to see the WoW worlds come to life through the board, incredible artwork, updated lore, and cameos from some of your favorite NFT collections. This spring, WoW and House of Harlow will reveal our highly anticipated limited drop with shirts, bags, and jewelry. And through our foundation and partnership with The Sandbox, we launched Let's Mint yesterday, educating 300 girls on Web3. Over the next year, we plan to scale our educational efforts to touch the lives of 50,000 girls and help them future-proof for the next wave of technology. And finally, we're going to continue to build new ways for our community to connect and grow through the power of art. We're excited to officially announce not only a rebrand of one of our favorite initiatives, aka Art Drops, but also a complete reimagining of the experience. Art Fest will become a new gathering place for our community, and it's going to change how we meet online, collect art on the blockchain. A new year at WOW starts now, and we've only just begun. Take a look. Now, we're excited to celebrate the community members who have played a huge role in our success by honoring the winner of the first ever WOW Awards. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Okay, okay, okay. With this year's WOW Gala, World of Women wanted to find a way that we could celebrate all of the incredible community members and artists that we have in our ecosystem. So what better way to do that than with a WOW Awards? Okay, if there's an awards ceremony, then there's methodology. And let me tell you how we got down to picking these winners. In early October, WOW and WOW Galaxy holders nominated community members for eight categories of awards that reflect the values that we hold in this community. Then the community voted on four finalists for each category. And then the winners were finally picked by the WOW team. Now, I just want to remind you again, this isn't all of us. This is a fraction of us. When I talk about who had a chance to vote, it's not just everybody that's in here, it's also all of the people that are watching this on our token-gated live stream provided by Theta, made possible by them, and all around the world. We are worldwide. So, as we begin the WOW Awards, I'd like to now introduce our first presenters. I think you're gonna love it. Our first presenters are the iconic Yam Karkai, co-founder, artist, and chief creative officer of WOW, World of Women, and Guy Osiri, NFT king who has made legends in Web3. Now it works. There we go. Okay. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. Hi, everybody. So uh, my journey starts with WOW, um, with love at first sight. The first time I saw WOW, I fell in love. And um, that's why I, I bought one that reminded me of my wife, um, the first one that I got. I'm really happy to be here with you all to uh, celebrate the incredible creativity of this community. I am honored to be part of this community, honored to be working with Yam and the WOW team, the WOW family. Um, like all things, they start 
with a visionary, and uh, I'm really honored to be here with Yam, who is the visionary, the incredibly talented, and really an incredible soul. I'm gonna pass it off to her. Thank you for having me here, Yam. Thank you, Guy. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here today. Um, commun community, art, and creativity has always been something incredibly important for us at WOW and a really big part of our culture. And seeing our community's imagination through their art pieces and their innovative artworks have, has been one of my favorite things ever. Um, and so I'm really excited for this award. Okay, the finalists. Re. Roya. Chrono. And Catalina Uma. It was super hard to pick the winner, um, but the award goes to Catalina Uma. Woo! She couldn't join us today, unfortunately, but Catalina, huge congratulations. We love you so much. We love your art. You've done so many wild derivatives for our community. Uh, we love you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, Yam, yes, Guy. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming up here. All right, we've got more awards to give. Now I'd like to introduce Amanda Cassette, founder and CEO at Serotonin. And you might know this guy, Raf Malaveye, co-founder and head of partnerships at, at World of Women, who will present the next award, Innovative IP. Hello everyone. I'm Amanda, founder and CEO of Serotonin. We are honored to be World of Women's marketing partner and to support this event and celebrate with all of you tonight. When it comes to creativity and IP usage, the ideas from this community amaze me every day. This next award goes to those who show an exemplary use case of the IP, the World of Women IP. IP rights is important to the World of Women community and the award goes to those who have shown either a product or a great production with their World of Women IP. And the finalists are Leslie Wheeler, Maggie, Miss Finface and Nudes, and Sakari Smithwick. And the award goes to Leslie. Come on stage. Come on stage, Leslie. Come on stage. I did not prepare a speech. I just want to say thank you and shout out to the Bluminati, Yari and Yam. <laughs> Congrats, Leslie. She looked very cool, am I right? I got any cool blues over here, what's up? She is always rocking out and representing. Okay, now let's welcome Cynthia Haas, director of the World of Women Foundation and Mo, head of community and education at Ledger, who will be presenting the next award, Impact in Web3 Education. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? You guys are a little bit quiet. I need you to get a little bit louder. OK, there we go. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming. As the director of the WOW Foundation, I love education. I also love school growing up, so this is very fitting. Um, but I couldn't be in better company than with Mo, who is the head of community and education at Ledger, and I'm going to hand it over to him. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I'm super thrilled to be presenting this uh, Impact in Web3 Education Award. Um, you know, education has always been part of what Ledger is all about. 
we all understand that without education, the future of this space is not going to be as decentralized and as secure as we all want it to be. And we're super thrilled to be working with the Word of Women team to launch Ledger Quest and support the community, but most importantly, to highlight the community members who have been striving to educate other people out there. And that's what this, all, you know, this award is all about. So I'm super happy to be here. Thanks again. Awesome. So the Impact and Education Award goes to someone who has been educating and onboarding people in the space. And so the finalists are Brenda Gently, Laura Rodriguez, Riddles.eth, and Unstoppable Bunny. Do we see them? Yay! Okay. <laughs> um, a huge thank you to everyone and for all the work that you're doing. It is super, super vital. And without further ado, the award goes to... Da -da -da, drum roll. No. <laughs> there you go. Um, to Unstoppable Bunny. And he is not here with us today. However, we know he is watching. So congratulations. Thank you. Unstoppable also helped onboard me on my first days at WOW. So I'm super grateful. Um, and thank you, everyone. Congratulations again and enjoy your night. Congratulations. Oh, you look fabulous. Yes, rhinestones. Come on, diamonds. All right, now we have a very fabulous thank presenter, you. someone who could probably host this thing herself. Let's invite Ina Moja, Head of Philanthropy for World of Women, and Thomas, Co-Founder and Chief Technical Officer at World of Women, who will be presenting the next award, Web3 for Good Sustainability. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and being so elegant. I'm losing my cards here. So, as the head of philanthropy for WOW, and also as the founder of Code Green, it's incredible to see the impact we can make in Web3 that supports real world issues. It is so important for us to support people, women and girls, but also our focus has been a lot on climate issues. And sustainability has been part of our discussion since the early days at World of Women. As we are always striving to have a positive impact on what we do, but also wanted to lead the way in developing a more uh, sustainable Web3 company model. And so this award highlights those who have taken strides to contribute to a more sustainable Web3. Our finalists are Blue Moon, Fake Eye, Liam Scully, and Crystal P. Knight. And to be honest, I'm amazed by the work of our finalists and the whole community on this issue. So, congrats to everyone. But tonight, the award goes to Fake Eye. Uh, thank you very much to all of you who have been voted for me. Thank you, Ina. Thank you, the World of Women team. And thank you, the OG 10KTF family as well. And I hope I will keep uh, inspire you with the photos and uh, using the World of Women in the good way. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations. Boy, you had a cheering section. How did that go? Dun, 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 dun. Pump it up. You got to pump it up, da, 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 pump it up. Congrats! Yeah! <laughs> All right, wonderful. It is now time to welcome Shannon Snow, the Chief Operating Officer at World of Women, and Sarona Buchanan, Partnerships Manager at WOW, who will be presenting the next award, Web3 for Good, Social Justice. As you all know, social justice is at the core of WOW's values, and we encourage everyone to use Web3 for good. This award highlights those who are advocating towards a better world and future for us all. 
We're so happy to be spotlighting you as we believe that your work is crucial, not just for World of Women, but Web3 overall. Okay, let's get into the finalists. We had to vote between Jones, AKA Queer Friends NFT, Non-Fungible Therapist, Roya, and Senrock, AKA Gary Summer. And the winner is Roya. Huge congratulations. Roya unfortunately hasn't been able to make it tonight, but we know that they are watching at home and they are absolutely deserving of this award. Thank you. All right, we continue with the WOW Awards. Let's invite Megan McDowell, Senior Innovation Editor, Vogue Business, and Grace Insania, Social Media Manager at WOW, who will be presenting the next award dedicated to digital fashion and design. Wow, it's amazing to be here and to see you all. Thank you so much for this welcome. As the Senior Innovation Editor at Vogue Business, I have been covering this space for four short years and I cannot believe we're at a place where we can actually present an award for digital fashion. And Grace from the WOW community, it's amazing to be here with you and I actually understand you used to be a fashion designer? Yes, you are correct. And I love that I get to see and engage with the WOW community's incredible creativity and digital fashion. So this one goes out to all of the fashionistas and digital fashion maxis out there. Okay, so here are your finalists. Edalu Aguilar. Chrono. Re and Stephanie Howard. Congratulations to all the finalists. And the winner is Chrono. Congratulations. Sorry you can't be here with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Oh gosh, I love all of your face jewelry. The outfits here are incredible. All right, for our next presenters, let's invite a friend to the room, someone we all know and love, Shira Lazar, founder and CEO of the Emmy-nominated digital media brand, What's Trending, and Diana, partnerships manager and lore queen at World of Women. Come on, let's go, Shira, give it up for Shira. Shooting all of you guys, say hi. 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 <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> okay, I can't multitask that well. God. All right, how's everyone doing? Oh my God, it's so great to see all of you. How are you? I know we're all going to lose our voices. Okay. Well, um, in my career, I've witnessed the power of storytelling. And this next award is for where are my writers at? Writers? Okay. Where are my creative spirits? Where are my brilliant storytellers? Oh, we have a few. No, I think we have some more here, but it's truly an honor to be here with everyone tonight, really. Thank you, Shira. So as you know, storytelling is a key component of the WOW brand, and we've been so excited to highlight our community members who bring dreams to life through their words and their vision. So, our finalists are Artemisia X, <laughs> Girl Francis SG, Humans of Wow, and Maggie. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much again to all our finalists for sharing your minds and your creative visions with everyone. And now time to announce the award winner. It is Maggie! Please come on stage, congrats. Okay, freaking out now. There's a, a crowd is developing in the corner here. Maggie! <laughs> I wanna have what they're having. <laughs> Look what you started, Ross. <laughs> I mean, we do need some energy. Oh, there you are. I thought you got lost in the crowd. Congrats. Oh my God. Thank you so much. 
Um, I just want to thank WOW for this incredible event and for being uh, with all these amazing people and the opportunity to meet everyone. And um, I want to give a special thank you to my mom, uh, who's here with me tonight, who read to me all the time when I was young and uh, encouraged me to be a storyteller. So thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations, Maggie and Mom. Congratulations to you too. Hey, hey, <laughs> y'all are the most lit section here. I love it. <laughs> okay, speaking of getting lit, that's coming right after this. This is the final award of our WOW Awards. So right after this, we're gonna get back to partying. Last but not least, please welcome Dorothy Devin Devinesia, yes, VP Marketing at Johnny, at Johnny Walker, and Kashfi Parekh, Community Manager, who will be presenting the Community Building Award. Hello, everyone. In the name of the entire Johnny Walker team, I want to say that we are so proud to be sponsoring this award as long-term supporters of women, diversity, and inclusion. We believe that community building is at the core of any brand and know that with a strong community, anything is possible. GM, GM. <laughs> uh. This award is for all of you. It's for everyone who's been showing up, building with us, and just advocating for WOW and all the values that Dorothy mentioned. All right, time to name the finalists before the grand finale. Daniela. Mer Benita. M. Kims and nudes. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, the final four as well as the wider nominees and just the WOW fam in general. But today, this award goes to Nudes, AKA Peter from Neptune Consulting. Nudes isn't with, here, uh, isn't with us here, unfortunately, but Nudes, we love you, congratulations, and thank you for everything that you do in this community. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for all the work you do. Congrats to Nudes. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's watching from Australia. So congrats, Nudes, Nudes wherever you are. OK, that's our WOW Awards. Can we give a round of applause for all of the winners and all of the nominees? They were incredible, too. <laughs> Thank you to all of the award recipients and nominees for your important work. Uh, congratulations to the winners and all the participants. Now I have the honor of introducing again to the stage one of WOW's co-founders and the amazing creative mind behind all of the world of women art. Please put your hands together for Yam, everyone. Oh, this is for me? Oh, okay. Hi. Hi again. Um, so I want to say a few last words. Um, first of all, thank you again for being here. There's a lot of things that I love about World of Women and about building this company. And one of them is obviously all of you, the community. I really love you and appreciate you very much. And without you, really, we wouldn't be here today. Um, so, I want you to know, in case you were not aware, that tonight is for you. It's for nobody else but you. It's to celebrate you and to cherish you. And um, so that's one thing. I really love our community. The second thing is that I love the change that we're doing together. I love what we're building together. Um, and the third thing is the creativity and the art behind everything that we do and at the core of our existence. And so talking about creativity, I would like to say that one of 
The funnest adventures for me as the creative director of this company is to think about creative ways to communicate. And so I've been working on something recently that has to do with our lore and our storytelling. And it's a very beautiful first time lore video that explains a bit of the story behind the art that I drew because I didn't draw this uh, characters and art pieces out of the blue. They oh, yeah. came from <laughs> some uh, thoughts and inspirations and stories that I created in my mind. And so I am very excited to show you this first ever lore video that we've created. Hello and welcome. My name is Isna and I'm here to take you on a journey through the WOW galaxy. The WOW Galaxy exists in two parallel realities, the present and the future, and are connected through a portal. Let's visit, shall we? Mother Earth, a world of diverse nature and people, growth, evolution playing on duality of life and death, art, science, spirituality, and endless challenges. Flaming Ember, brave, strong, and disciplined, this unmerciful flaming red planet of fire, ember and lava, can be seen as the planet of defense, protection, and strategic thinking. Frost Ring. Known for its healing powers, creativity, and majestic peaceful aura, Frost Ring is the planet of ice, water, regal waterfalls, lakes, and rivers filled with yet to be discovered underwater life. An intentional secret? Cyber Jungle. Resourceful and skillful, Cyber Jungle is the planet that has found the perfect synergistic balance between technology and nature. With rich biodiversity, this is the planet of advanced technology, bioecology, and nature. Golden Star. Golden Star is the planet of gold, light, sunshine, cryptology, literature, and richness. Erudite and stunning, their inquisitive nature makes them the largest linguists with the largest libraries of universe. Okay, the microphone is working for this final little announcement. We are done <laughs> with the inaugural WOW Galas, WOW Awards. The gala has a lot more to do. I wanna thank you all for your patience and your energy throughout. Congrats to everyone, not just the winners, but our entire community. There is a special performance coming up here at this party by Sophie Tucker. Yep, yep, coming up soon. And real quick, before we end, leave the stage, can we do one more? The time is... Let's do so one more. The time world? is... And now the time is to party! Enjoy! <laughs> An unequal chance world, you gotta be So kidding. sorry, I just want to announce before we end that the WOW Gala at home winner is lively.e at lively333. So congratulations, thank you so much for participating. All right, thank you. All right, thank you all, enjoy the night. Thank you so much, have fun. In this world.